Would you like to go for a walk? Four or five times. Carl was only married twice. After you, yeah. Charlie Tripper. He was a businessman. Mixed pleasure with business rather too often. And Edward. It's right. Yeah. Yeah. He wanted me to retire, have a family. So that was the end of that. You never married again? No. Why not? I didn't want to. When I did Bohem at the Met and you backed out, was that because of me? No. And Salzburg? No. What brought you here? Um, actually, Wolf was ill. Oh, he had a stroke, didn't he? Yes, it was only a mild one, thankfully. It's affected his, um, his, his frontal lobe, and he has trouble censoring himself. <laughs> Is that it? Well, so he says. So I came here to see how Wolf was getting on. And stayed. Mm. I love singing. I like my life. You can't have both, can you? No. No. No, you can't. I have nothing. Well, my clothes, a bit of jewellery, and a hip that gives me hell. <laughs> and here you are. Yeah, here I am, on charity. God, it's embarrassing. I wouldn't tell anyone. And the press have always been mean to me. If they learned I'd landed up here, God, how they'd gloat. Do the press still have any interest in you? Oh, do you... Oh, oh. Piss off, Reg. <laughs> what? Bitch! There she goes. See ya. Angelique. Bitch! Cow! Sodding frog! She won't give me marmalade at breakfast. She gives me apricot jam. Oh, you hate apricot jam. Bitch! skinny assed French twat. Stop it, Reggie. So, Jean, what made you stop singing? You mean for good? Yes, for good. I just became so scared. Suddenly the pressure was huge. I became so aware of the critics, you know, and the importance of getting a good review. Whatever you did had to be good or, well, better than before. And, of course, it can't be. I got so nervous, I just... I just could not sing anymore. I just... <clears throat> you know this? Works of art. Or of an infinite loneliness and nothing can reach them so little as criticism. <laughs> we weren't doing anything. Neither were we. Underneath the arches. She will be here. Excuse me! Are you planning to do this at the gala? Certainly. Yes. Well, I've changed my mind. I don't think it's sophisticated enough. What do you mean it isn't sophisticated enough? Exactly what I say. What did I say? It's not sophisticated enough. There you are. Well, we are going to do it. Underneath the arches. We started half an hour ago. You're late. I had to get my bag. Have you asked Reggie to sing that Donna Mobley at the gala? Oh God. No, I forgot. Good. Don't. I have a brilliant idea. <laughs> what is it? 
Oh, I've forgotten it. Um, uh, uh, you remember it. What was that? We haven't said it yet. I told you this morning no, at, 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 at breakfast. I told you this morning <laughs> at breakfast. You didn't. And you. I told you. You were sitting, you were sitting outside with us. What is it? You must know it. I... Oh, for God's sake, you cretins. I'll, I'll find it eventually. Yeah, uh, go and find Wilf. Go on. Now, where, where was I? Who? Wilf! <laughs> And the reason I've asked you here is because I've had a brilliant idea. Excuse me while I shut out it well, Cedric. Cedric, a brilliant idea. Terrific. I'll explain to you now. I'm sorry, I missed that last bit, Cedric. Cedric. Oh, Cedric, of course, of course. Now that Jean is here and the four of you are together again, I put it to you that you should perform at the gala the quartet from Rigoletto. That's amazing. I've, I've, I've just been listening to us. The, the Rigoletto. Think of the publicity. The Times, the Telegraph, Opera Magazine. We have four of the finest singers in English operatic history. <laughs> we already know the bloody thing. We'd hardly have to rehearse. Uh, but Jean won't sing it. Put your hand up. Put your hand up? Oh, but you must change her mind. She's a huge draw. Don't you put your hand up for anything. It would be as if Maria Callas were making a comeback. No, no, I don't think I want to sing with Jean again. Why not? They, they were married once, but it didn't work no, out. Sissy, please. No, I don't want to. It, it wouldn't be right. Well, it's a shame. I can't count the number of galas you've had graced over the years with your incomparable voice, and I mean that sincerely. I don't think you realise it, Reggie, but people still talk about your Celeste Aida four years ago and your Ave Maria two years ago. For what it's worth, when I heard you sing Nissen Dorm at the gala last year, all I thought was, eat your heart out, Pavarotti. Reggie, I know you don't think much of me, but there's this one concert we can get enough money to keep this place going for the rest of the year, and possibly even the next. It's true. You could help save Beecham House, Reginald. Well, I have an important meeting now. Do excuse me. Oh, oh shut up! For sake, shut up! And you could persuade Jean to sing. It's only one colour, Reggie. Why don't the three of us ask her out to dinner? Well done, Reggie. Oh, Reggie, thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Now, I'll, uh, I'll write a little note, Sissy, and perhaps you'll be good enough to deliver it. Yes. Exactly what do you propose? The Swan Restaurant, just the four of us. Sissy, Reggie and me. If we could convince Jean to sing at the gala, we're talking serious money here. I mean, even Cedric reckons we could charge Covent Garden prices. In by 10.30, no later. 12.30? No. You sure? Yes. What kind of cigarettes are you smoke again? Twelve thirty, no later. Done, Lucy. Please call me Dr. Cogan. Done, Dr. Cogan. Why is it, Wilford? I always get the impression you're up to no good. Because I'm normally up to no good. And please call me, Wilf. You've done this, remember. You don't have a buttonhole, Wilf. <laughs> Why do you persist in flirting with me, Wilf? Because you're a cracker, a thing of beauty. You're not a bimbo or a chick or any of those awful things. You're one of the rarest of species. You're a woman, Lucy Cogan. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, but I have professional ethics to uphold. Ah, throw caution to the wind. What if we were to make beautiful music together? Your husband would never know. That's reassuring, Wilf. Think about it, eh? No, Wilf. No one would ever know. I will know, Wilf. Older man, vintage wine, seasoned wood. Did you say wood? Seasoned. <laughs> 